noob, noob CSGO player. I'm absolutely garbage. But I do know something. Mirage is uh, a CT side of map. And you're gonna have a lot of choke points. Guessing gotta be here from the uh, apps as well. Gotta love throwing this. Here in the mid, we got the A short. We get the apps. You got you you got this tunnel. That's it. That's all you have to hold as CT. Which is quite easy, I mean you can hold a lot from here as well. But I think we're already already going live. No we're not. I'm I'm telling a lie. I'm actually Dutch. From the Netherlands, the great country of the Netherlands. <laughs> the pot smokers, the pot smokers, it is. No, not that I smoke that. It's, it's bad for your health, of course. I don't do that shit. I don't know. What, what, what is typical for Danish players? What is typical Danish? I really wonder. What's that? I mean, Viking, sure. The Viking beards. But that's also Swedish, so. What is really signature for the Danish? I don't know. Great tactics. I know, man. Best tactics ever. What? Two already? We haven't started yet, have we? Have we started? Huh, can I? No. I don't know, no. We, 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 we haven't started yet. Thank god. Grot, grot, met flode. Is that something typical? Okay. Oh wow, that's spacing. Look at that, they've got lasers. I love this game already. So, is it gonna be the knife round or are we just gonna. Uh, still a warm up, I can only assume. Let's say going at uh, all out bar and at the A alley. God, I, see, I still feel so clueless. We'll, we'll get to it, we'll get to it. No problem, no problem. Need to, uh... Need to get to know this. Yeah, I mean... Pronunciations in Danish. What the hell? <laughs> I do did, did hear like the average uh, working uh, days for uh, Danish people is like uh, hours. Sorry, it's like 33 hours per week. Like what the fuck? I don't. I want to go working in Dan uh, Denmark, man. They didn't. They didn't do anything. <laughs> they work like four days and then you're done. All right. It looks like we're gonna go for a. Shanking competition. Lightsabers. Saklar pasabel. All right, that's that probably means ready to knife. So they are gonna be uh, shanking against each other. <laughs> and last time, knights actually just rampaged over uh, the. the uh, George site. As uh, Bimbigo goes down already on already. Anyway, I, I, ne I never cast actually knife knife rounds in actually 37 hours. Well, I was close. <laughs> 30, 33 rounds would be perfect. That would be the best. 37 hours is a little. It's a little. It's not a lot. Make her in the back. Oh, little, little, little dirty bastard. This time, Knights winning knife round with uh, just two more uh, remaining. But did it win? It's gonna be signing off the CT side, obviously. We can only assume they will. It is a really best of three and nice gaming. Uh, if you haven't seen already, but uh, did it win the first map quite easily, 16 to one. 
And now we're on to uh, Mirage. For those of you who don't know, here's the map overview. This is where the CT start. This is where the T start. Here's the A sign and here's the B sign with a nice drawing skills. We're gonna go, gonna go straight life into this game. It's actually the piss around and quickly look where these guys are going. They're still in spawn. Okay, interesting. Still uh, figuring out where they're gonna be going to, and I guess it's gonna be A. Old smokes and Nate's actually heading towards the uh, mid side. It's gonna be a distraction. Only one left up on A, and they're all all CT sides seem to be stacking on the. Uh, the B bomb side, which is quite concerning. You are actually making our way towards the A side now, but look at Bimbo with that one pop from the Desert Eagle. Tondo finds Kenzie. Kenzie find himself a frag, but now CT are in trouble. As uh, Maker goes down to Don. Gonna make his way towards the CT side. Gets picked up. Picks up DFG, in fact. Now your last man slides, and he's on four health points. It's not looking good for him. Gonna be looking at uh, shut down the uh, decoy here, but I fear it's a one on four, and he's got two players low, but still more two more players on high health points, and himself on four health points. Yeah, it's not ideal. I guess he's just gonna be looking for some exit frags here to perhaps get some more money in the back, but he's gonna have to do something here. We'll get dropped though, and first round of board for the uh, two sides. And I think uh, Knights Gaming just made the uh, wrong uh, the wrong decision by going towards B uh, early on already. I guess the, uh, the decoys and the smokes worked out for uh, Jared Farb. Do you see a uh, a couple of pistols being bought up from uh, the CT side? Slice, in fact, over at mid, and he's standing on top of that tunnel. And I'm not too sure what Kenzie in the back. If he plays this out smart, he could be able uh, to get a lot of frags in from the back. The ace push is happening, though. We're just gonna continue with Kenzie here. And this is Bimbo and Nico are gonna be opening up the A side. JKN will shut down. Ooh, will they actually not shut down Maker. Maker will get the better of Bombs in Planet though. Kenzie in the back. Can't land the shot. Will get the frag, but Maker goes down to a grenade frag. Finally, Kenzie lands it. Gets the second one. Nearly can't land it. DFG in support though. One on two on two, in fact. And Madness is bleeding internally. Dom, still full half points. Gonna be looking to go for a fake here as. Uh, with a nice frag. That's thumbed down. Just Matt is left up alive and Kenzie will mop it up. And that's a hat trick of frags for Kenzie. Will the defuse come in in time? No, it won't. That's so unfortunate for TFG. Just not in time with the defuse in. And that's going to be a round for the terrorists. But good effort. If uh, Nice Gaming had that defuse in, that, that would have turned uh, out, uh, that would have just turned the tide. I mean, then they would have been able to buy stuff, but you just can't right now. We do see the terrorists all going for a split push. They want to get some peeks in, they don't want to play it risky by rushing down his side. JKN has been spotted by a TFG. Kenzie goes looking. But finds the AK of JKN. Then Bo as well to Zake. Oh, my co is here. There we go. Yodins. Hello. Well, let me know when you're in. I'm just going to continue. <laughs> so it is too old for uh, George Farp. And DFG got himself a return frag. Two and three now a slice. We'll go down to uh, Thimbo's AK. Mikado with a return frag to Madness, and which is quite good. 2 3 still. Ooh, DFG getting a nice shot in into uh, Bimbo, and 
So far, the two side not being able to plant the bomb. JKN being uh, a little bit stopped down by uh, <laughs> that smoke grenade in his face. As uh, Don stuck on the same side with the bomb. But Micker there causing uh, trouble for him. He's gonna go ahead and get the bomb down now. But Micker is gonna go looking and doesn't get the frag. We'll get loads of tags and DVG will finally uh, go down uh, JKN out of his misery. DVG as well with another frag onto Don. That's gonna make it 2 to 1. Funny how uh, Micker turned that round around with the USB. I mean, the enemy team at AKs, they had a Galil from what I saw, but he managed to uh, pick up a vital frag there with the USB and uh, put the other player on the. I think it was 12 HP? Yeah, they, they were all crying low. Yeah. And just a quick update. Come in. If you haven't seen, uh, Nice Gaming won the first map on Inferno 16 to 1, but they started 16, so. That's sort of justified, okay. but still, 16 to 1. <laughs> 16 to 1 is an uh, impressive scoreline, to say the least. It looks like if get the uh, map, map, out of map again. I always forget what button it is. But um, looks like a B push from uh, Yord Varp. Waiting there with smokes and flashes. Wait that the uh, certain time that they've all. Uh, Arrange them, they will uh, toss out them smokes and run out in the B bomb side. It's uh, staying it patient. Staying it, uh... Now, the direction gonna move in. DFG picked up the frag though with the AK. So that is uh, the push absolutely annihilated right now. It's like it's trying to as well with three frags. And that is no B push there for your <laughs> That was, uh, that was over. Wow. All right. I'm just gonna turn you up because uh, I still haven't done that. There we go. Talk again, please. Hello. All right. That seems seems good now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's an amazing uh, amazing hold there from Knights, especially from uh, of course uh, DFG and uh, and Slizo. Yeah, I mean, sure they were on the pistol round. They were on the pistol round, right? They were on the pistol yeah, round. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Sure, but. They didn't get one frag. Yeah, that that that's always nice. I mean, it's definitely in CS:GO. I mean, we are we are cult casters, guys. We we are not used to the money system. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Kenzie getting a little bit picked, timed out. Not not timed out, but getting timed as a. Don will uh, find him that that frag, and that's gonna be an op over there. Quite concerning, Zeke though. Finding uh, madness. Finding the madness. Got himself that bravery M4 and the bomb now heading towards A. I'm just gonna ask you this what am I doing wrong with these binds? Every time I press 4 to go to a player, it goes into like some sort of cinematic. I don't know because when I do that, it works. <laughs> 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 Sorry, <laughs> but anyway, uh, I've actually found the uh. This though, it's a uh, was a B push, but uh, again, Knights' hold is just too strong. And even in a gun round, yes, we've seen an eco before, and we've seen it uh, go wrong, so to speak. But and on uh, on gun rounds, the hold of Knights' game is uh, it's just too strong and too firm. And right now, it looks like uh, George Varpen will go for a uh, B mid split. Of course, this is an eco, so this has to be. Chickens here for uh, for knights. You never know what can happen. I mean, this CS go after all. One good place headshot can make all the difference. But right now, Micker Kenzie, they're just mopping up, of course, because it is. I said an eco round. So if you have those guns, if you have that long range advantage, not gonna happen. Micker with another frag there. Madness finding himself in the one v five with no armor and only a pistol. That's not gonna happen. Kenzie comes in, picks up the frag. Four to two now for Knights Gaming. Still, it's nothing to be ashamed of. I mean, it is the T side on this map. It's, uh, CT is favored, of course. Yeah, but we'll venture in another gun round. Yeah, indeed. I mean, Knights Gaming lost the first two rounds in, and they finally uh, clawed their way back with uh, the quick four rounds and. I'm not too sure uh, how this one is going to be panning out. I mean, 
Geode 5 didn't do quite too well in Inferno, so I'm not too sure what we're going to be expecting on Mirage. Well, they, they, are, they are doing better now than Inferno. They got two more, one more round in. We see Nicker opening up quickly with two quick frags. And there's the third as well. Slizo picks himself the fourth frag for uh, Knights Gaming as uh, Zeke. Oh, man, being dropped by Madness, but Slizo with a second frag of the round. And that's a great play from uh, Micker. Actually, three frags quite quickly, and that's the entry you want to have. Yep, that is again the holes, and this just George Fireplan tries to get in those sides, but this, the door just slams shut every time. So they need to either uh, work on their smokes and flashes because I don't, I don't get the feeling that um, that that knights are being are being like held back in their in their holds and the angles they can hold because of uh, good flashes and smokes. I think uh, George Fireplan right now are. Uh, like you said, like, like it's shown on uh, on Inferno. I think it's just right now is the lesser team, but maybe they can step it up. Maybe they can gain a tactical edge, so to speak. Because right now, it's I don't think it's aim that they're losing on. It's just knights and uh, are just too strong in their positions, and they're not being flushed out by uh, by good good equipment work. Uh, haven't said that. First frag has gone down onto Z onto Zake. So Bimbo will push in that B apartments. Will get taken down from DFG was waiting there in the corner. Quite an aggressive position, but then again, he can't afford it because, well, they been ever so dominant in this game. Micker, in the meantime, getting tagged up. It is going to be an A push once again. Don Domingo, Madness, both situated towards A. JKN's under that window, and Nico is in middle, so closing the gap and trying to go towards A. The Madness gets tagged up as well. Let's actually switch over to the op for Knights right now. It is Nico. He's gonna pick up the first frag. Aronta Kenzie is a. Is he gonna find the second there? Aronta CT. He doesn't spot him. He doesn't spot the head popping over that box there. In the meantime, Slides is coming back from uh, from from connector. Picking up two quick frags there. And it's now a 1v2. DFG and Slides are back to back. And JKN will pick up the first frag from Aronta Slides. But it is all too little too late as uh, the time has run out. And mind wow. you, if you get if you get killed after the time, you don't get any money. Yeah, so it's a complete waste. Yep. I thought for a second that's gonna be a terrorist side. I mean, they just got one through three frags and then well one through three, I can't count. But <laughs> one two, yeah. <laughs> and then nice game we just just got it back again, like we've seen them in Inferno before. I mean they just they just Hey, terrorists get two frags. Well, let's start shooting back, guys, and uh, yep. <laughs> then just just start killing everyone. All right, quickly looking over the map, you do see uh, going for a split once again. Madness here with the bomb over yet at the alley, but three players from uh, from the T side over at Apps, and I'm not sure why you would do that with the bomb still lurking around on A. I guess that's a sort of distraction. Perhaps they want to force Knights to uh, rotate towards the B-bomb side, but I can't see them do that with the Dawn actually smoking up the apps, which I don't think you, you should have done. You should have just waited for your team to bait it out over there. And uh, now giving his position away, DFG will uh, shut down JKM with the HE grenade frag. Sake will find Dawn. The scout and they're gonna be looking for a jumping scope shot. Can't seem to connect it though. Kenzie's gonna go pushing. Oh my god, Nico with the frag onto Kenzie, and wow, would you believe it? Gets the hatchet onto him. Now, four and five. Uh, three and four, in fact. <laughs> As uh, they are on the back foot with Knights Gaming in a fantastic spot. Nico with great support. And it's uh, Zeke as well, picking up uh, Bimbo's slice with the winner frag onto Nico. And it's gonna make it 7 2. And I'm not sure if we're gonna see it on the side of the map here. Nightscaping are looking incredibly strong. Wow, was this that hold again? Zeke was behind the box, but Micker held the cross towards him, and he, they're just hitting their shots. Because as as uh, I believe that was uh, yeah, that was Madness who tried to cross in towards Zeke. It just couldn't happen because uh, the cross was held just way too uh, way too good. And Zeke in the meantime getting a brilliant spray down, three frags already, gets taken down eventually for his troubles with the MAC-10 of, uh, of Bimbo, and right now this A-side is for the taking for your Var, but they're all so low and it's not gonna happen as Bimbo and JKN in the end fall 
to the uh, M4 is of Knights Gaming, and uh, right now it's it's not looking good. I mean, uh, of course they can uh, they can crawl back into this. They keep force buying this like this all the time. It's they're never gonna get really good gun round. You see Madness again with the MP7. They have equipment though. They have smokes and flashes, so they have a chance in this round. But I don't know. It's it's gonna be tough. I mean, you gotta full full, uh, full geared up nice gaming with an AWP as well, and a lot of nades as well from the nice gaming side. They all got the fuse kits as well. So if they get the bomb down, nice gaming are, can still recover it. Zake though in a little bit of trouble as he is uh, stuck there below the uh, scaffold scaffolding, but it doesn't really matter. I mean, there there goes three frags already for nice gaming with uh, Zake Micker and. Uh, was a DFG picking off uh, a kill and just two more players remaining they're all low they're all bleeding internally as Nico and Don remain Zip. yep in fact he, wa he wasn't even in trouble as uh... <laughs> wow Nico <laughs> with a lovely little action I'm sure, sure, surely this was gonna be a, a kill for Zake but all in the hands of Don and yeah he's over at B bombsite and the bomb's over at A I mean you just wanna be going for a safe right now wouldn't you yeah, you want yeah. seconds left. He, he is just gonna save. He's just gonna sit in this corner, and now it's time to talk. Yeah, especially with this eco right now, they have like like they had to. Madness had to buy an MP7 to even have a gun in that round. Uh, he's just gonna save this AK surely, and he's actually in a good spot to actually save this because uh, I don't think knights will be looking for him in this spot. But as we saw there, so, like. Um, I think it was uh, I think it was Bimbo who was in the top apartments. Got naded down to 20 HP before he could even peek anything, and then he even got killed by an op. So the the holds from from knights, just the angles, and and I think it's also it comes down to Jord Farpner just just telegraphing his it, it, like their movements, because every time they push A, there's at least three players waiting for them. Yeah, I mean, knights, they just, they just have the map information, which is so crucial, on, on, definitely on, on, on pretty much every map, actually, but on Mirage as well. I mean, rotations are pretty hard on CT, if you, if you get what I mean. There's just one, one road you can go, which is safe, but already early on, Kenzie picks up two frags, and again, terrorists are in trouble with just two players left up alive. So, Dawn and Madness. Uh, now just Don in a one on four. I mean, Ken Kenzie is low. That's that's one thing, but it's it's not really consolation. There's still still a full lineup left up to find. I don't think he's gonna be going for a save. No, he won't. He will get dropped by DFGs straight into that. Ten to two, and Knights Gaming picking up ten rounds in a row. It just goes to show what a what a difference these two teams are. Yeah. Like you said, it, on the CT side, it really becomes apparent. Like, no, I should say on the T side, um, Jord Varpner just their executions, they're there, but they're really standard. Like with the A smokes and the the flashes, nothing really is is like strated down to the wire to really counter this the, this A hold, and it's just not working out for them. Even now, the bomb, I think, is is down in middle, not. No, 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 it's spawn on T-spawn, but actually the X-ray uh, fooled me there. <laughs> but, um, yeah, Micker, Kenzie, picking up frags. JKN and Don Domingo pushing out of apartments, uh, out of palace, I should say, and Micker will instantly take him down, even though, yes, uh, he's 1 HP now, it just doesn't matter when you get the headshot with the AK, of course. Now Don Domingo again, 1v5. Micker is low, though, so he might... Get an exit frag, but Maker is sure gonna, just gonna play it safe. Yeah, he's over at CT. It's not, he's not gonna get picked. I mean, Don Domingo has armor, so he might go for a uh, for a little exit frag. What what is he gonna do in his one on five? He's got a deal. <laughs> Ooh, well, that's what I thought. <laughs> wow. Yeah, he misses the spray. <laughs> yeah, it's just it's just. The aim of the Yord Farbner guys also, it's just, I don't think they're, they're, look, they're on point. Look at the money though from Knights. The, four players at 16k. Yep. <laughs> it's, yeah. It's just stupidly much. 
even if they get around now, like, even if they got around before, I mean, it wouldn't have been a problem economy-wise for Knights, because, like you said, their, their economy is so strong right now, they almost don't lose players, and even in the gun rounds. So yeah, it's just, right now, a miracle has to happen for your Farpner to get back into this match, otherwise it's just, and again, here, they're going for this B execute, they're actually gonna get taken down from underpass, Kenzie pushed up aggressively there, and takes down uh, Nico with that M4A1 silenced. <laughs> Kenzie has 3 HP though, so... Somewhat successful for your Varp, I mean... <laughs> but yeah, let's see. look at this, they're just... The push is on, they instantly get smoked off, look at this, two players in the B side, one is over at the at kitchen right now, Micker, he has an off as well, and it's just... Madness though, in the meantime, taking on the FG, Mika again, replying onto Bimbo, slides over the frag as well onto Madness, 1v4 again for Don Domingo, it's, uh, and Mika will take him down, dispose of him conveniently with that op, and it's just, ah. the executes are not on point, they're not as good enough to break the, uh, the defense of Knights. What I do see from Knights is that they often have Zeke on his own, on A, with just just a player on the, on the connector to rotate quickly, and then and after around three players on B, and if if only the T side can exploit this, then they might be able to pull the round off. But Knights Gaming again, I mean they have map control, they have map information, and they just seem to be knowing where to rotate to. And Kenzie, look at him, he's already pushed up mid, and will get the first rack in to Nico with a nice M4 silencer. Shot Micker as well, following up in those his footsteps onto Bimbo, and the bomb still over at spawn. They're all just camping it out on A, and there's just, just nothing happening here. Finally, JKN decides to move up, only to get dropped by Zeke. Zeke picking up a second one as well to Madness. Dom goes down to Slice, and another frag being given. 13 to 2, and that's gonna be uh, a great half for Knights. Yeah, but like you said, like, and like I pointed out before, like you said, only Zeke is there on the A with the player and connector. That's what I meant with Jordfarb telegraphing their position, because they, Knights Gaming can't afford to do that, because they know when they're going to push, and they know where they're going to push. The smokes and flashes are all so obvious, they've never done a split with two people, for example, smoking up and flashing A, and then three people running out of B. It's just... It's way too standard right now, the strats and, and the smokes and the flashes, and even if they do a five-man execute, which which should at least give you two kills or three, it's just not good enough. It's just not... Knights can, can read them like a book and just get into such strong positions to, to counter even a full five-man push. But yeah. Right now, first frag has already gone down again for Zeke. And up the uh, frag there, onto Bimbo. JKN in the meantime falls as well to the uh, Glock of Micker. Kenzie will drop down to Madness though, he's uh, spotted out on that window. DFG with a double frag there! <laughs> a grenade onto oh Madness and the instant headshot onto Don Domingo. It's just a whitewash right now. Nico tries his best, but he won't get the frag. And now they have to eco, or they're even going to force. I don't know, but it's not looking good, Rick. It's not looking good at all. <laughs> wow, that made from TFG, though. What a finish. Yeah, I mean, like you said, it's not going to be looking good at all. I mean, they, they won the, won the, won the, won the pistol round Knights Gaming did, and... CT side, they're going to be struggling with money if they uh, can't get in this round. Some sort of uh, hope. They are going to be pushing towards spawn quite quickly, but there will be a player in the form of Micker ready and waiting for them with two. Make that three frags on Micker. And that's going to be all over for uh, George Farp, I feel. The only one to reply is Nico so far. As uh, Bimbo now, your last man. He's been dropped somehow. He killed himself. Well, what the heck is that? <laughs> anyway, it's gonna be match point for uh, Knights Gaming. 15 to 2. Only one more round, of course. And that's gonna be a win for Knights. Overtime coming up. Is, uh... Well, dream is alive still. <laughs> for them, it is. Well. Nah, it's not gonna happen. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Nico will take down Zeke, though, with the, with the scouts. So I don't mean them replying on the JKN. 
Kenzie with a frag as well onto Bimbo. Oh god, this is just Kenzie is going now though, so Nico might uh, pick up a frag here. But um, I don't think it's gonna happen. <laughs> Kenzie's just playing it defensively now, and the bomb is so. This is over right now. Kenzie will take down Nico, and it's now a uh, 1v4 for Don Domingo. He's been in this position before, wasn't successful, and won't be successful now. As, uh, wow. 16-2. 61-16-2. I think that, that's a clear message that Knight's Gaming uh, was the better Yeah, to team. summarize, it, it just, just didn't work out for them. <laughs> wow, a lot of cases being given out. Game's been generous. Chroma cases, interesting. Wow, three rounds, only three rounds, Lo losing only three rounds in two maps. Hmm. Yeah, that's uh, that's a whole new level. <laughs> <laughs> that's something different. Well, that's it for tonight, guys. I think that's it. We could we could try and cast some cut cut games, but I don't know. No, I don't think there are any cut games. No. Nah. Anyway, what, what, what did we think of the CSGO match? What did we think of casting it? Do we like it? Do we want to do it more? I think we would have done more. I quite like the uh, the stream overlays and stuff. Yeah, I like it as well, like uh, the X-ray vision and stuff. Yeah, it's much, much caster friendly, as I would say. It's magnifique. Yes, it is. Also, the overlay function is really good. Yeah, I, I, I yet to have to find I mean, my keys worked out well when I tried it first, but now it it didn't. Typical, typical, typical. But hey, that's it for tonight, guys. If you haven't followed the stream already, please do so. We'll be streaming some more uh, CSGO, casting some CSGO. So hit that follow button. And uh, me and Dense, with the bros, will uh, we'll stream more CSGO and perhaps play some. But um, I'm kind of rubbish at it, but hey, that's why we're casting. It's not rubbish, <laughs> I am rubbish. <laughs> that's why you're casting, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> that's why I'm casting. So thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, I hope to see you next time.